Right, this should be the only speedball video you ever need to see. Okay, we're gonna go through the very basics. It should be the longest video I've ever done too. So, start off with the basics. So, front punch, so I'm gonna go two on the right, so as you punch, rebound, 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 punch again. So learn one arm to start with. Once you've got that down, another thing is make sure it's pumped up so there's a bit of give to it, okay? The last thing you need is a bad setup. Um, this doesn't want to be shaking too much. I prefer the ball swivel, but you can use a standard boxing swivel. The uh, difference is this just flows around quite nicely, whereas the boxing swivel's got lots of mechanical parts, it's got bearings in, it's got, uh, well, some of them have got ball bearings in. There's more to go wrong and they make a lot more noise. So, to get used to one arm, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm saying one, two, three, what I mean is one, two, three, punch. And as you're punching it, you're punching it just, not quite at the bottom, Slightly, because if you, too, if you if it's too much at the bottom, it can sometimes go past. But when you hit it, it goes kudunk. So as it's coming there, give it a punch. So get used to your right arm or your dominant arm. Once you're used to that, switch it. Okay. Just get used to one arm. So once you got used to that, in all honesty, it's a little bit on the flat side. I'm going to pump it up after this. So uh, next one. Um, so you go one, two, one, two, then single arm. Exactly the same as before. Three rebounds, but it's one arm, then the other. I prefer, rather than go from the front, Go from the side, either side. So we'll go from here. Okay, so once you've got them two done. We will go with, I like to do this one as a third one. So double, so one, two, one, two. So how you do this, it might look a bit more complex, but it's a piece of cake, it's easy. So as soon as your front hand hits, your lead hand, one rebound, not three, one, the second hand gets it straight away, so. Okay. If you wanna just do, uh, it's best to go left, right, the right, left, look. And as you do it, slightly wrong, left and right. So, but to practice, to start with, maybe just do one over, over and over, so. Okay, but as soon as you get used to that, go right, left, left, right, so. Okay, so link all them three together. Once you're used to that, carry it on. Okay. So you're going to go rather than two. So, so just punch, punch. 
Okay. One, two. So after the second hand comes through, then it does the three rebounds. Okay, so sounds complex, but one, bang, two, bang. And it comes back, goes back again, and your hand comes through. One, punch, two, punch, rebound, rebound, and the other way. Okay. Okay. Once you've got that down, carry it on into a fist roll. So rather than two, you're going to go one, two, three, and just carry on. Look. This one's the easiest one of the bunch. So. If you notice, this doesn't come back up here at all. Okay, it just stays up there. All we're trying to do is keep it up there. So if you look what I'm doing, I just do that and then get harder. And your knuckles go straight over the top, more or less touching. That sort of shape, not a fist, never ever have a fist shape. So that sort of shape, straight over. elbows up with most moves you need to make work elbows up right let me get some air in this and we'll carry on with part two right that's better so little bit of compression not squidging in about two inch like before. He got about an inch, about an inch short of. Okay, you can go a lot faster now. Oosh, uh, okay. So what we'll go next is one handed. And the great one, so you've got the first three moves. Overhand. One, two, one, two, one, two. Doubles. And fist roll. Okay. okay, another great one to go from there. Punch. Swipe. Punch. Swipe. This is more of a boxer's one. Boxers prefer this because uh, you're actually using your knuckles. So. Punch, swipe. So you give it a punch, head that direction. You give it a swipe, head that direction, which lines it up for the next punch coming from that way, okay? Then a swipe, which then, so punch, okay? And as you swipe that way, that lines up for this punch. And as you swipe, Lines up for this punch. So if you look, punch, you slightly come from this side, slightly come from that side. Okay? Punch, one one handed straight through and it will go kadosh your hand comes through and it'll go back then you catch it on reverse okay the trick with this one is uh return punch is quite snappy all right it's not like a frail old flipping punch so it's snappy yeah snap So difference with this, one rebound, not one, two, three, okay? We'll go really slow. Then you switch it to the other hand. Okay, you switch it from the front lock, front, front or behind.
you are now, it's it around. Um, so once you've got that one down, okay. Chuck a punch in. To that one, so you've mastered this, chuck in a few punches, any amount, don't matter. You can go like that, doubles. When you're doing the fish, when you're doing the one handed one, okay, once you're doing that, it's better to give it a smack with your knuckles rather than the side. I find it better. Look, so knuckles so on the turn. It's hitting this side, which is going red now because the ball's too bloody hard. But anyway, eventually knuckles and it's minus two. So it's freezing here. Isn't it? Okay, once you've got that one down, go for this. So your hands are in that position. So, so you're gonna go forward punch, catch it on the turn, okay? With one rebound block. This looks like tricky move it's not it's quite easy and it's very important this one this is one if you're doing a few combos this is what gets used all day long so so what you do aim to do it if you think about it from the side okay pretend you're just doing it from the side look okay so practice just going from the side like that bam 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 once you're used to that, you slightly go from, you pull it from behind rather than the side. The second one comes from behind, so. Okay, so we'll go from here. So you're going to go from that position. Good push to that position. Literally, a good way to start this one is literally have your arms like that. And just do that and see what happens. <laughs> okay? Because it, it can't really go far wrong. As soon as you've done that, you kind of get the idea of how it's going. So it's... And the good thing about that one is when you're doing it one arm, you can... It, it's a real good flow, so you're going to go... do for part two so you're going to get you got the basics okay this roll and we're spicing it up at the end with bone ones okay and one handed okay so you've got the one handed ones got these ones we won't bother going into elbows and not on this one we'll leave that to the next vid so we'll do stuff like this